Hey, wanted to film a quick update just because I'm getting a, a bad sense of the world around me. Um, as each day passes, it seems like the idiocracy that has become our lives increases and we are bypassing logic and reason and we're failing to see things for what they truly are. The, at least the people around me with the hive mind that has been created here in the city that I live in in Winston-Salem, I can only assume it's the same for almost everywhere else, but it is literally the evil in the world and the devil preying on people's past weaknesses, their vulnerabilities, uh, to create a society where we're all bogged down with fear tactics, the threat of um, danger, whether it be character assassinations, personal loss, we're all motivated by that fear to play into what is the most evil conspiracy that's ever been hatched. And this is quite literally the mark of the beast as predicted in the Bible, in many texts. Um, it shouldn't come as a surprise that is we're living, we're on the dawn of that time period, the age of Aquarius. But we all need to start to see the big picture and broach it with people and not allow these positive and negative behavior modifications to persist because they're going to model your behavior into a mind-controlled automaton unless you're actively taking steps to prevent that from happening. There are remote forces that are manipulating our minds and changing our behavior, and we need to become self-aware of it and reach to the light because this is a spiritual conflict that's happening in the world. I see it differently than, all, than anybody near me. Nobody around me will bring it up. Their behaviors modified and controlled, and they are, uh, by and large, most people are just morally bankrupt, especially in the city that I live in, in Winston-Salem. It is the most pitiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And um, I would say this is a perfect place for somebody to commit a conspiracy, but the people here are so weak-minded and low uh, will and virtue that they're not gonna do anything different. They're gonna do the wrong thing if they're urged to. Um, think of it like this. If you get hoovered into this uh, practice of monitoring, gang stalking, you are accepting Mark of the Beast. You are doing the work of the devil. So cease your involvement if you're watching this and you got involved or hoovered in when they preyed upon your weaknesses or cornered you in the wrong way. Just remember, that is a test of the universe and you failed it. It's time to start making up extra credit and being better and not worse. Um, everybody in the world around me I know is pressured and forced into living in a false reality where we're enduring a lot, we're made aware of everything, they're trying to make us jaded, bitter, hateful, and evil, all while trying to balance normal waking life. So it's like people have become repressed weirdos and their behavior changes on and off. So therefore it's for people like me who are sentient, who know exactly what's going on, who feel everything and can't avoid their feelings or be manipulated or controlled, it sure is a difficult thing to be who I am. I know that much. I'm more than who I used to be on a personal level. I became a quite spiritual being, I would say. And I've devoted my life into getting not only the truth out, but to helping people, at least subconsciously, to understand the situation. So I would say that there's people who believe in me. They're small in numbers because we live in a world of manipulation and censorship. So therefore, it doesn't even make sense to make sense to people. People will refuse logic if it paints them in a negative light. They're, it, it's quite literally as if people are just have become mind-controlled pawns around me. And I see it clearly, but they won't 